I need to clean it like ASAP. Did you eat your food? Yeah. How was it? Hi guys, welcome to the video. So I'm so excited to have you here. I have just been decorating and cleaning my life away. I'm into the fall spirit because I've got so many decorations from Hobby Lobby, which you'll see in this video. Um, you'll also see the shopping part in this video. But I found some really, really good stuff at Hobby Lobby, Home Goods, Target, CVS. I'm gonna talk about all of that in the decorating parts of the video I also wanted to decorate the bathroom I basically decorated the house for myself I think I said it earlier but like I couldn't find the footage so I'm just gonna tell you now because who knows where that footage is or when it's gonna show up I am just not gonna look for a fruit bowl I realize if I have a fruit bowl like that's attractive and I use it a lot I'm gonna want to set it out on the counter if I set a fruit bowl out on the counter with fruit in it my son is going to believe that it's an apple he's gonna want fruit so I decided not to look for a fruit bowl anymore because it's just gonna be too enticing to like leave fruit out so also I've got a recipe in this video for you guys I'm sharing you my HelloFresh stuffed peppers inspired <laughs> recipe. I made it before and I didn't film it. We obviously subscribe to HelloFresh. There's going to be a Hobby Lobby gift card giveaway update in this video. I'm so excited to be talking about that and that's going to be after all the cleaning and decorating. I'll meet you back here and I'll tell you about the giveaway update. The Hobby Lobby haul is also going to be in this video for sure. That's actually coming up next. Fun, but I'm definitely going to spray the top because it's a little chilly in Los Angeles and I don't want any flyaways so I'm going to spray the top of my hair. I've got on brows, I've got on like a little bit of mascara. I think that's all like the makeup I'm gonna need. I'm testing out two body polishes right now. The one I use today is so good. Let me take this out of here because I don't like to spray with the beverages. The dog's water for this area is here. I also change it every time I spray. I would just hate for her to take this out. All right, actually I should put my sweater on first. This outfit, I'm gonna look like I have an egghead and I'm gonna need to wear some earrings that sort of round out this area of everything. But you guys, I also have a baby and it's hard to just like wear cute, long, dangly earrings when you have a baby because they love to pull on everything. Okay. I ended up taking cash to the park this day, so we went home to core shopping the very next day. Baby boy. He's just playing with me. Talking at the same time as me. That's what your infant will do. And then your toddler would do it like three times as much. Hi guys, so we've just arrived at Hobby Lobby. I am so excited to go in here. I just know like all of their fall home decor, their Halloween decor, probably their Thanksgiving and their Christmas decor is out. Let's go inside and check it out. Okay, baby, we're going. Huh?
that I would try to be real with you guys. Honestly, I haven't styled my hair in a few days. Um, it's definitely, you know, on its way to really needing to get washed and stuff. And um, I'm going to use this. I'm using this right here. Apple and aloe. The hold me down gel. This smells so, so good. Anyway, the first ingredient is water. Now, this was not my first choice to do a half up, half down look today. Um, my first choice is this custard item that I have. But the thing is, I don't know where it is. Some stuff is in my purse. Some stuff is in the car. A lot of the times, some stuff is where I film like my beauty tutorials and stuff. Like I don't have a designated area for everything. Makes it pretty difficult to use the same tried and true product all the time whenever I need it. Like between getting ready and making sure, you know, there's always um, food and solids and milk and stuff for the baby and that the baby is napping and things like that. Um, it's pretty tough. It is tough. Imagine if I really wanted to find that custard product, I would have to go look everywhere right now and just like not be ready when the baby needs breakfast. And the boys are gonna be back from walking the dog in about, they're back now. <laughs> and I'm not ready, you know, I'm still doing my hair. I'm gonna wrap a piece around. I don't love this style, but I'm gonna take a piece of my hair and wrap it around the band. So it worked, but I do wish I had the custard, you know? I don't know, just like when I have something in mind, I wish I had it. And if I were more organized, I would have had it. You ready for some salads, baby? <laughs> I'm gonna be real right now. You got my two face washes that I've been obsessed with, besides the Ula Hendrickson one, a hand soap, some lotion, the lotion that I'm obsessed with. I love this brand of lotion. Carpet, spot and stain remover. This actually does a really good job. Anyway, we have to use that a lot because Peach has her accidents. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I'm just gonna start tidying this area up. I feel like I'm gonna end up doing a whole big clean and organize like really really soon i'm just so tired of being unorganized it's really getting to me you guys it's really getting to me the makeup i think i brought in here just to talk about on stories it doesn't have to stay here i'm gonna take this and we said we're leaving that there for now and these can go actually we have been washing the dog a lot lately um this is her like special shampoo but we don't need this to live here it's better just take this out because i'm done doing my hair i'm done in here totally um we can come back and do the rest so i already started doing some organization in this vlog um there's like some things back here that um i had to unbox and unpackage that i started you know there's just like so much to do it's just getting overwhelming but the only thing to do at that point is just you know just think about it like like millions of other people are also organizing their belongings like all the time you know what i mean so reality like i'm not alone but it feels like you're alone when you have to you know you're the only one organizing your own belongings um yeah in order to like focus on organizing cleaning and organizing the bathroom and the dressing room like right here where i am like this entire space 
I need to put a face on. I need to get dressed because that's going to make me feel better. Like I've accomplished things. I can do anything if I'm ready for the day. I'm actually realizing I'm being very hard on myself. It's only 8.17 in the morning. And I'm not done with my hair. I just wanted to get started and see if I would be satisfied with the gel and the like half updo. And I think because it like started off so nicely, I think I will be satisfied with how I'll end up looking. You know, like obviously I wanna film the process of cleaning and organizing and I wanna, you know, look nice on camera and, or look like be happy with how I look on camera. You know, I don't always want to just be like looking like I just woke up, which is what happens a lot of the time. That's why you guys don't see a lot of that footage. I actually just have it in my in my like memory cards and stuff. But I always feel better when I get ready, even just to clean and organize the house. You guys, honestly, just I have to get ready at breakfast. He sat in his blueberries. <laughs> So I've got to, I want to show you guys what I use. Pink or red, pink and red bottle. My goodness you guys wow okay so i was just sitting at my desk um doing a little editing i ate all my food so fast so i might end up making a coffee the thing is it's 4 15 in the afternoon i should not have a coffee i can't say i'm not going to make one i'm going to go upstairs and see what happens when i get into the kitchen but also baby boy is awake now so we're going to bring him in here where i do my editing and filming and stuff He's going to have to get a lesson in cleaning and organizing. Like, he's just going to have to see me do it because I really need to get this done and he's awake. So we have a playpen right here that I can bring in. <coughs> so he's just going to have to watch me. I still feel so uncomfortable wearing this with, like, my bra showing and stuff. So I'm going to put my sweater back on. Thank you. I saw that he just woke up. Yeah. And I was about to go. That was the plan. Thank you. Did you eat your food? Yeah. How was it? It was alright. <laughs> I do know he said the food was alright. I thought it tasted great, to be honest. Like, I'm happy with my work. Like, I'm not offended. <laughs> but just the fact that he said it was alright, like, on camera. Now you guys know. But it was, it's a really, really good recipe. I'm the one here telling you that we ordered that from HelloFresh. It was good the first time. I decided we should get ingredients to have it again. I think it's phenomenal. All right, so you heard the baby is gonna be with Hubs for a while. So anyway, I need to get cracking on this room because I cannot take it anymore. I'm. Still trying to decide, like, am I going to show you guys the state of it? Like, actually, I'm kind of embarrassed. I guess you guys are just spending the day with me, huh? I forgot we had these. Wait. Where'd they go? Here they are. Okay. I forgot we had these in the pantry. There's, um, decaf coffee. Ooh, 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 ooh. Because it is very late in the day. <clears throat> These are the Mexican style hot cocoa melts. I'm just gonna plop one in the coffee. I found out I like my coffee pretty milky. So, I'll be doing this. All right, so that's gonna be going. I'm trying to clean up as I go. Isn't this the cutest thing? So this is like a pumpkin, white chocolate super super hard to do with one hand but inside of here this is white chocolate i'm gonna eat that by itself there's um like marshmallows and chocolate drops i think mm -hmm. 
I would be messy. Why? So that is definitely going to melt down. Like I can already see it melting. So then I'm going to take this and just put it on top. And this is like the perfect sweet dessert treat after what I had for lunch. So it was pretty, pretty nice. So before we go tackle any cleaning, I'm gonna have this. Mmm. That's good. <laughs> Before we start cleaning, I need to actually switch the laundry. You remember how I put that stuff in the wash? It's gotta dry. I guess I could have pushed pause, but I didn't. these clothes are clean I'm not gonna fold them right now because I really want to focus on the other stuff that I was telling you guys about see I told you guys that I had like hair products in the car like I if I knew this was there I would have gotten it and used it but all my hair products are always kind of everywhere and it's just like so annoying case in point I definitely at least need to clean the bathroom today So I know I said that we were gonna clean this bathroom, like the rest of it has to get done. Sorry the lighting's not amazing, um, but I really just wanna finish it and maybe even decorate it because I've got like some fall and Halloween and Thanksgiving themed items already. I need to clean it like ASAP, it was so pretty. But then filming, just this is the aftermath. to the dog i bought her her own blow dryer she's got her like wash mitt we've got like shampoos and shaving creams and things like that we don't shave her but shaving creams actually like are pretty good for cleaning the carpet and we've had to clean up a couple of her accidents and we thought since it did well on the carpet maybe it will like help get her fur clean because she's white i'm just going to put these to the side because they're not going to stay exposed like they were they're definitely going to end up in a basket see on this countertop i've got the lotion the hand soap and towards the bathtub there's no more dog stuff and i've got like the eucalyptus leaf up there and that's it so now i'm just going to start wiping everything down i know you told your friend you're not okay and tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way because you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until i look away but I've known you too long It hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray As you fade away I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I always use the Myers Acorn Spice. I actually really love this scent. It smells like fall. It's so nice. We just have, we have a little bit of this left. I'm just going to set it here. 
I know a lot earlier there was like a ton of things I wanted to say to you guys and now I like cannot think of any of it for the life of me. Really right now I have like mom guilt. I feel like it's 5 30 you know I need to hang out with my son but I realized like the bathroom has to get cleaned you know like no one else is gonna do it. Um not exactly the way I want it done. So I have to spend time doing this. Otherwise, I'm not gonna be in a good mood. <laughs> and you know, I'll be hanging out with the baby, but the house will be clean. So I really need to just like trust that my husband's got the baby and everything's gonna be fine. You know what I mean? So, so let's go ahead and find those decorations. So I want to start with putting this back in there. I actually really like the way this smells and there's a much longer story to that. Probably in the next vlog, I will talk about it. But the Cozy Vanilla Almond Foaming Hand Soap from Bath & Body Works is my choice of soap right now. I got it like three weeks ago at Bath & Body Works and I just think it smells so nice. It's not like overpowering. It doesn't smell too much like vanilla, too much like almond. It's like right in the middle, which kind of makes it like cozy. So I'm going to put this back and then in addition to that, I'm going to put this Hobby Lobby find. It's a pumpkin find. Isn't that cute? I was thinking of putting it back. Oh, is this impractical? All right. That is that's impractical. That doesn't make sense. Okay, I have to go get my vase. Hold on. Let me see. Can you guys see what's happening? Okay, so this is going here. Yeah, I don't want this to get wet. Like these are like real velvet or whatever. So I'm gonna have to put this probably like that. That sort of makes sense. And this is one of the taller ones that I have. I know it looks weird like in the mirror. Let me show you straight on. I don't know, I, I kind of like it straight on. It does need something to go with it. I don't know. This was so cute in stores, but now it just seems a little awkward. What if I put it in the corner? I don't. I don't love it. I don't know. So I feel like for right now, this pumpkin vine that I got from Hobby Lobby, it's going to work here for now. I've got the hand soap. I've got the pumpkin vine. And then I want to add a real pumpkin. So I want to add this real pumpkin to this little area. Okay, I feel like it is getting cuter, the area, for now. I'll probably never change it, right? <laughs> Knowing me. And then I have, so I also bought these like fake candles that like run on like double A battery or something from Hobby Lobby. Yeah, I need batteries. I'll be able to switch them on. And I'm thinking of putting them on either side of the back of the bathtub. I just think that'd be so cute for when I'm in here and I'm just having a bath on my own. I think that, this is good ambiance. Like, this is okay for now. I do feel like it's a start and I'm getting somewhere. And I am a lot happier with this bathroom. For one, remember, it smells like acorn spice in here. So it smells like acorns and it's a lot cleaner. And it's decorated for the season already with just a couple new additions. I think I'm not done with it, but let me see what the baby is doing and then we might be back tonight. I thought that by now, by the time I made it back in front of this camera, that I would have washed my makeup brushes and have them back here to use, but I haven't even put on makeup in a couple days and my makeup brushes are still over in the bathroom needing to be washed. So they're not even here to use and I want to put on makeup. Today I really need to cook dinner that is like my main goal but there's a couple things i need to do before that i definitely want to cook dinner i think i'm going to do chicken stuffed bell peppers so that is on the menu yeah i'm excited about that because i don't cook enough for my family my husband does it a lot um which is great but he's sort of busy and it's like you know you know let's use one of these sponges okay so i did a video on my makeup channel I was talking about how I got these sponges I, I think it's called like drugstore makeup or something like that but I got 
these sponges, I think, from the 99 cent store. If you like makeup, this looks fun to you. Like, you want to dive into this and do something about it. I'm giving myself, like, 10 minutes to put on makeup today. I really don't, like, this isn't even necessary. I just feel like this is going to put me, did they double pack it? They double packed it. You know how they put that, like, circular sticker on? Why do they put two? Let's just use this first one. Oh, I like that it feels bouncy without even wetting it. I'm not gonna go wet it because this is supposed to be like a quick makeup look. The crazy thing is growing up, like I'm, I'm feeling chatty. The crazy thing is growing up, I thought concealer goes under the foundation. This MAC Stack Mascara, ooh, I love this mascara. I bought this like a couple months ago, maybe in June, and I just love it so, so much. Brush, this is the only brush that I have in front of me. All right, let's go. Couple of things to do around the house, couple of errands, and I'm definitely cooking dinner. Okay, I have to get myself excited about this. I have to get myself excited about this because I know it's going to taste good. Like, if there's anything I can do, I can make dinner taste good. But is the rice going to come out nice? Is it? That is a question in a lot of households. That's what I'm believing. So, we are back and... This is what I'm gonna be making today. Kicking Cajun chicken sausage stuffed peppers. I'm substituting the pork for chicken. So we've been ordering from HelloFresh for about a year and um, most of their meals are extremely tasty. Like we love the taste of them. So I'm gonna make this and we bought all the ingredients ourselves again, minus the pork. So we've got jasmine rice. We have basmati because that's what I like. We have bell peppers. I think we have celery. I don't know. I sent my husband to the store about four days ago to get groceries for the week. So hopefully he got celery. I haven't seen any, but we'll see. It says Cajun spice blend. Obviously we're going to have to put whatever, whatever spice blend that we have in the cabinet in there. Cause I don't know if we have Cajun or maybe he got some. I don't know. Let me see. Hold on. Cajun spice blend. What did he get? Okay, so that's not Cajun, that's not Cajun. Creole is not an exact substitute for Cajun. They're different. That's not Cajun. Okay, all right. What's this? <gasps> what? Wait a minute. What is this here? Cajun seasoning. My husband has all the seasonings. Louisiana fish fry products bring the taste of Louisiana home. I have never seen this in the cabinet. Is this new? No, we've had it a while. <gasps> all right, so we'll be doing one tablespoon of this. So let's get the basmati rice, bell pepper, celery, scallions, nine ounces of pork, which we will be substituting nine ounces of chicken so i thawed out this chicken earlier today because i knew we would need it i don't have a scale so i'm gonna have to just i measure nine ounces of chicken from the whole pack the whole pack was two and a half pounds so if i'm just visualizing there was a half pound piece and then two pound pieces so if this is a pound, nine, ounce, nine ounces is probably half of this. So I'm gonna cut it like here. And I've cooked a HelloFresh meal often enough. I kind of can, I measure what nine or 10 ounces of poultry looks like. I still need to take out the peppers, the celery, the scallions, the rice, 
the stock concentrate, which I have, pepper jack cheese, sour cream, hot sauce. I'm gonna get out all the ingredients. I'll see you in a minute. Let's just go ask. Babe. Are you on a call? No. Did you buy celery or pepper jack cheese? No. Okay, because that was on the um, recipe for the stuffed bell peppers. Mm -hmm. I just, it's cheddar in there and stuff, but yeah, I buy pepper jack. But okay. I don't like pepper jack, so yeah, I can buy pepper jack. You don't like pepper jack? Oh, you don't like spicy cheese, huh? I don't like pepper jack. This is weird. Yeah, I think I remember you saying that. Don't worry, if we were on like a married show or something, like a game show, I would have got it. You mean like, you mean like, like, as in like guessing like what I like and don't like? Yeah. <laughs> oh, so you would have lost points? No, I would have got it. If it was multiple choice, if they're like, which cheese doesn't he like? Oh, okay, okay, I got you. I definitely would have got Pepper Jack. Okay. Okay, so you want me to substitute it with which cheese? Um, the, uh, the cheddar. I think some shredded cheddar in there. Shredded cheddar? Yeah. Um, I'm not a cheddar guy. Okay. I always use the Trader Joe's vegetable wash, fruit and vegetable wash. Um, you just put this in a little bit of water to wash your vegetables because anything coming out of the ground or off a tree, it's going to be dirty. Baking sheet, heat face down, then we put oil on them, drizzled. So my con <laughs> I'm gonna put the knife down while I talk to you guys. So my concern is that I really hope that the rice doesn't burn. We have some burners that are pretty intense, like the way the house was set up <laughs> is that some burners are more intense than the other and it doesn't necessarily match the size of the burner. Like it could be a burner this size, but the flame on simmer is like cool. And it could be a burner this size and the flame on simmer is like So, I don't know, I'm kind of worried about the rice. I always add more water to the pot, but <laughs> I just hope the rice turns out good. Anyway, so what I love about the cebollas is how you say onion in Mexican. <laughs> no. No, 
Ask anyone who knew me growing up. I know the word is not Mexican. It's Spanish. I'm just tired. <laughs> and um, that was crazy. I'm thinking um, Mexican scallions. Like these are, you know, green onions. But we get them at a Mexican market. I don't know why I said Mexican. It's Spanish. I know Spanish. <laughs> it's okay. Um, it was an honest mistake. Um, that's how you say it in Spanish. But I love that the white part is this bulb in the back. It's not like on the stem right next to the green part. So I usually just will chop up the bulb into small parts when the recipe says separate the whites from the green. So worried about this. Why does it sound like it's frying? I'm worried. Okay, we're gonna be done. We're done now. We're finished. Okay, it's not burned. Thank God. I thought the rice was burning, but it's nothing a little uh, water and butter won't fix. <laughs> Just to make sure it doesn't get hard. I chopped up the meat. I think that this is about 10 ounces. That's usually what they say. Oh, they want nine ounces this time. But anyway, I, I think this is good. Okay, so we've got to take the bell peppers out of the oven. They look so nice. Sorry about my pan. <laughs> my pan doesn't look so nice, but you get, you get the point. <laughs> I know, I need to clean my oven. I'm trying to get help with it, I know. All right, so those are done. Wait, okay, so the next step is to heat up the chicken. I don't love about cooking is the situation's a little hectic like this is how it looks behind me and in front of me it looks like this and I just don't like the situation I don't know but we're gonna get it together I don't know. it says add chicken stock concentrate now the little packets that they normally send you which they did send us originally when we got this recipe which is why we have this physical card I used it all up. It was a small package. So what I did was just use a small teaspoon of the, I have some bouillon here. I've been hoping it works out. It's probably gonna be fine. This is not my first time doing things like this. This is how you learn to cook. You will edit and change things as you need to. Okay, so we'll be taking these putting them here, just like that. All right, and we'll stuff them. On all the food, I'm sure it's gonna taste good. Mild cheddar cheese. On here, I'm putting a lot because it's me. All right, so I don't have an oven proof pan, so I'm gonna bake this in this baking dish. We wouldn't have an on oven at the moment, so I need my hand to put this in there. So, BRB, hopefully, I don't burn myself. So this is not sour cream, it is Mexican crema on sal with salt. And it says mix it with hot sauce. I don't have what they gave us, so I'm gonna use this. <laughs> Cholula, chili garlic hot sauce. My husband thinks it's gonna be good on there. They say use one teaspoon. That's how much I'm using. 
Okay, so now we're gonna garnish it and eat it. Okay, so we're gonna take some of the cream I made. I actually need like a drizzler. This isn't really drizzling very well. Is it okay? The flat spoon? Oh yeah, we do have a flat spoon, don't we? We'll take some of these. So I'm 100% sure I read the directions wrong and I was supposed to cook the white scallions in and then drizzle these green ones on top. I did it backwards, but hey, it's still gonna taste the same. My lips are dry, hold on one second. Did you guys enjoy the cleaning and decorating? I really hope so. And I'm gonna tell you all about the giveaway update. There is a giveaway update, you guys. Hold on, let me just get my notes. I think I said that on October um, 8th was the last day to enter the giveaway. That's probably today, the day that I'm uploading this video. Um, okay, so October 8th is not the last day to enter the giveaway. The last day to enter the giveaway is actually October 21st. So October 21st is actually the last day to enter the giveaway. And I'm moving it back just to give a couple more people a couple more chances to, you know, see the, I mean, because it's a fall giveaway and I had not even decorated yet. You guys didn't even see it. So now that I've actually like decorated and you got to see what I'm doing for fall, then I really want you guys to be able to enjoy that part. And then on the 21st, October 21st, that's the last day to enter the giveaway. So the Hobby Lobby giveaway, I'm just gonna run through it really quickly. So for the Hobby Lobby giveaway, you guys, I've got a $30 gift card for Hobby Lobby and I'm giving it away to a subscriber for this channel that also follows me on my Instagram at Cami Stevenson IRL. So October 21st is the very last day to subscribe to this channel. Also follow me on Instagram. I'll upload a video on October 23rd and I'll let you know exactly who who won the giveaway. We are nearing the end of the video, you guys, and I just thought that I would take some time with you and unwind. We are planning on going to the pumpkin patch, so that's gonna be one like really big family outing for us. We went last year, Cash was under the age of one, and I actually really, really loved it. We have a bunch of photos that I actually have not even printed out. I need to print out his pumpkin patch photos when he was a very, very tiny baby. He was like five months or something. And you know what, as a family, we decided that we wanted to go, so we did. We're gonna be going there this year. Hopefully I can get some footage and edit it into something for you guys. And I don't know if you guys saw a couple of videos back, I was saying that in a vlog, um, there's a lot of family members who haven't seen Cash yet. Um, yeah, and I just am still thinking, do I, you know, make a special video and put him in it? Yeah, I've got a lot on my mind lately this season, like a lot, and it doesn't feel too overwhelming, but it does feel like, you know, the fact that I clean and decorate just this bathroom area, I really need it. You know, I really need, like, what's the word, solace for myself, so... I hope that you guys really enjoy the videos. Let me know if there's anything on your mind in this season in the comments down below. And I'll be thinking about you because I read the comments and I would love to just know what you're going through in this season. And hopefully it's something good. I just wanna make sure, you know, if there's something on your mind, mental health is such a big deal, you guys. If there's something on your mind that you wanna share with me, I would love to know. You could also DM me on Instagram. I even pray. If you want me to pray about something, let me know. And I just want you to know that I'm there for you. You know, the way you guys are here with me, um, I'm there for you guys too. Honestly, just talking it out, sharing with someone what's going on really does help. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I cannot wait to do another video. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Bye.